Two suspects are behind bars tonight for quite the crime spree. These are the four crime scenes that stretched across the metro area, and it came to an end here in Denver with this crash, closing down several streets and busy downtown. Denver 7's Mark Stewart is live at 6th in Washington. Mark, one of the suspects hid, hoping he wouldn't get caught. Yeah, so Eric, this falls under the unusual category. One of the wanted men was arrested inside this restaurant. At first, he walked in, ordered a glass of water, pretending nothing was wrong. Denver police swarmed the streets of Capitol Hill after a series of attempted carjackings and thefts. The fact that these people were in my backyard, I have two very little children. It's, it's absolutely frightening. Hours later, the woman found her car damaged here at 8th and Logan. Police say one of the suspects ran into the nearby Lime Cantina and Tequila Bar just a few blocks away. I work a couple blocks from here and I came in for some lunch. Dustin Peterson says a man next to him ordered water, saying he was waiting for a friend acting a bit odd, eventually getting up from his seat. We're looking out the window and all of a sudden, I don't know, 15 cops roll and just storm uh, the patio and then they storm inside and their guns are drawn and they, they just start yelling, where is he, where is he? Probably 30 seconds before they realized where he was at. And then once they did, they just ran, grabbed him, threw him to the ground. An all day search ending in front of his eyes. I like what's going on and what do I do? And you know, I didn't know what to do. I just sort of froze and the cops stormed in. Police say earlier in the day, shots were fired by the suspects, yet no one was hurt. An afternoon lunch, Dustin will never forget. Not a typical Friday at all. Not only is that SUV appear to be totaled, some family heirlooms, some tools that that family had stolen from their garage, they also may be missing. We're live in Denver tonight. Mark Stewart, Denver 7.